The best team in the Big Ten is where we're going to start, and we're going to start with a team in Ann Arbor, in my judgment, uh, the Michigan Wolverines, returning about 15 starters, J.J. McCarthy coming back. Some uh, A scout said the other day, and I know there are a million scouts that can say whatever they want to, that they think that by the end of the season, he's going to be in the mix among the upper echelon of quarterbacks considered in the NFL draft because he has that type of ability, needs only to add to the polish. They've got... A great tandem of running backs. They've got an outstanding tight end, two of them actually, when you uh, consider that uh, A.J. Barner has transferred there from Indiana. And they've replenished on the offensive line the way they have the last few years with uh, experienced players from the portal. And they added a pass rusher. What's not to like, Pete Thamel? I like a lot. I would would deem them the favorite. I, I, I am, you know, results driven and returners driven. And they have the better returning quarterback. They have better returning tailbacks. They have the better returning offensive line. I'll give them the edge uh, on defense and the defensive front, considering how those defenses played each other in last year's game. Um, I think uh, Michigan has the best tailback tandem in the country. I think they have a top three tight end room in the country. Any tight end room with Brock Bowers is going to be the best, but I do think, uh, I do think, you know, Barner and Loveland are going to be every bit what they were uh, they were last year with uh, Luke Schoonmaker. So I'm I I don't see what's not to like. I don't think the Horbaugh suspension that's expected but not done yet for four games is really going to impact them because Harbaugh can coach practice. It's not like he has to go to the UP for a month in September and sort of like, he's an experienced guy. 